Okay, so for this video, uh, what I'm going to discuss is the third, the third type of annuity, and this is called the annuity due. So, an annuity due is one where the payments are made at the beginning of the period. So, for example, on this time scale. Again, as a review, this is our first period. And this is the beginning of the period, end of the period. So for annuity due, ang payment is na sa beginning sa period. So for period one, ang payment is na adere. For period two, from one to two, this is period two, na adere sa beginning. Continue na nasa. And for the last, period, this one, the morning, last period, no? Ang N minus 1, ang beginning man, so naadari ang payment. Okay, morning siya ang cash flow sa annuity due. Now, how do we get P when A is given? So, morning atong P, yeah, okay? And then, ang bato na to, of course, balik ka sa Previous na one first class to annuity. Ato ni project nan. Okay. Tapos i-add na ato. Now, ang resulta is kung i-compare na to sa ordinary annuity, sa ordinary annuity, dapat wala ang A yan eh. Yeah? Dapat wala ang A. Kaya sa ordinary annuity, kung asa itong first payment, Move ka one period to the left, na di tum piman, so dapat wala nisa. But since na a maning a, pwede rin modify na to na i-remove sa nato ni a. Okay, let's imagine na wala ang a, no? Later on, i-add na to, mag-add ta ang a. No factor needed kay ni coincide sa zero. So first, let's imagine nga wala na exist ang a. And so we only have this one. A, 1, 2, 3, 4, until, until sa n minus 1. So, we can use the formula sa ordinary annuity. Pero ang exponent na to, n minus 1. Kaya naman dali ang last payment. Wala man dali sa n. So, yun ano isa. Okay? Hmm. Mag-add lang tag a, kaya natungod mo siya. Oh. So, kung wala pa ni a, kini lang na siya. Oh. A, tapos P given A, I percent, pero N minus 1. Kaya naman din itong last nga payment, N minus 1. Ang sa ordinary annuity, naman din ang last payment, motong N siya. Pero karon kaya naman din N minus 1, N minus 1 lang siya. Pero nag-add tao A. It's supposed to be, kung magamit taan yung formula, wala man yung A. Pero kasa annuity dyan naman A, so mag-add tag A. Ato din ipulit itong factor niya. Pero ang exponent niya, kene na. Take nota, original eh, it's negative n. But for now, it's n minus 1 to. This should be a parenthesis. Negative parenthesis niya, n minus 1. So, money ang formula sa P sa ano yung tiju. Okay? Now, while ang sa F, Inanis sa F. Pama mo niya ang cash flow. First, beginning sa period. Until sa L minus 1. Nadiri ang F da yun. Now, sa ordinary annuity, ang condition is that sa F, dapat naadiri ang A ni mo. Napo kay A diri. Kaya ang F, kaya mo coincide nun siya sa last payment. So, dapat na ang A diri. The problem is wala. Diba? Sa ordinary annuity, wala ng A sa zero. Na dapat na yung A dire. Sa ordinary annuity. Pero lahi. Karoon, diba? Naadil ang A dire. Wala. Na. Hmm. Ato na project na nan. Uh, I-add na to. Now, let's recall sa formula sa F. Eh? Kini ang formula sa F. A. Eh? F given A, I percent N. Pero, ang set up na is na I-E dere, wala ni I-E dere. 
So ina ni siya oh. Na A tapos wala ni. Oh, mao gid ni siya ang kuan. Mao ni siya ang fast flow sa kini na formula. A tapos if given A ay coefficient n. Pero ha? Huh? Pero kabalot ang uh, wala ni A. So later on i subtract ni nato. Okay dapat wala man siya. Magbutang ang imaginary na iya para mo fit siya ng last payment no. Tapos i-remove na nato para magamit ni. Para magamit ni siya. The problem is na aman siya. So, pwede na to i-modify tanaw ha. Kung atong first payment move gag isa ka period inana no. Karon na aman dire atong first payment so pwede ta mo move isa ka period dire. Negative 1. Eh, negative 1. So, kung mabalik na dire, kung mabalik na dire, nga yung setup is yung ano ni, in, isa. In, ha? Okay. O, mana, period number 1, 2, 3, 4, in periods. Hindi naman sugod ang 1, ha? 1, 2, 3, in periods. Pero kaya naman eh, tapos mo extend naman na dire. Kaya dapat ang setup, kung asa itong first payment, mo atras sa mga isa. So, Ma-modify ni siya. There will now be 10 a n plus 1 ka periods. Okay. Supposed to be, ano man eh, 1, 2, 3, 4, up to n. Namin mo kayo isa ka period dyan eh. So, ma-modify ni siya. If given a i percent n plus 1. Diba? May yun ano na siya. A, quantity, If given a i percent n plus one, ah, there are already n plus one ka periods. Iyon na nai. Pero kabalo man tanga wala ni. Ato lam ni gibotang ni sa imaginary man. So we have to subtract a. Kana. I minus nato na a. Oh, so after this, ato ding substitute ng expression na ni kini ang factor na ni. Compound amount factor. Ang exponent, n plus 1. Di ba? Sa ordinary, ano ito? N raman eh. Karoon n plus 1. And this is the formula of if sa ano ito? Sige. Let us solve a sample problem. A man bought an equipment Costing sixty thousand pesos, payable in twelve quarterly payments. Each installment payable at the beginning of each period. The rate of interest is twenty-four percent compounded quarterly. Consistent, ha? Ang annuity is payable in twelve quarterly payments. Ang rate of interest compounded quarterly. So, consistent tayo. What is the amount of each payment? Take note, ha? At the beginning of each period. Okay. So, taman ta 12, ha? 12 ka quarterly payments. So, dari mag-start ang first payment. Natay 60,000, dari. Mama na ang kuhan yun. Original ko, 60,000. Pero, Bayaran ni mo on a quarterly basis. So, A, beginning ha? Beginning of each period, A, until sa 11. Muna ni ang payment sa ika-12 na period. Ordinary formula sa ano ito dito? So, muna ni itong nominal, 24% compounded quarterly. So, ang I na ito, i-divide of 4. 6%. So, direct substitution, P equals 60,000 given ang I, N of 12, you solve for A. So, kana, simplify this one. And then, i-add 7.887 plus 1. After that, i-divide sa 60,000 na kay A rin. 
Next one. If 800 pesos is deposited in a savings account at the beginning of each year for 12 years, and the account earns 8% interest compounded annually, what will be the balance on the account at the end of the 15 years? Okay, so, Kenny, 12 jata at the beginning of each year for 12 years. So, 800. Tama, Andre. Okay, mo muna ang payment sa ika-12 na year. So, kung ano na to, kung sa'yo value aning 800 referred sa 12th year. Ay, ang question, Andre, is pila man ang value sa account at the end of 15 years. No? Okay? So, First is pound na to ni F12. Okay. So using formula sa ordinary annuity, pound na to. Natay R na 8% pero kay compounded annually ni. So same rang value sa I, 8% ra happen. So money ang formula sa F sa annuity jo. Pero for this one, refer sa 12 ba ni siya? Okay. Eh? Kana 800 12 plus 1. Okay, ni money F12. Okay, F12. Now, what is asked is ang balance account at the end of 15 years. So, if project ato pa na extend 13, 14, 15. Pero wala ni annuity dere. Kana na yon. Pila yung value ng F12 pa ingon sa year 15. Uh, so, P na ni siya. Present, get the future value. So, inani na. F is equal to F, raise uh, F12 times 1 plus I raised to 3. Okay, 3 periods. So, now 1, 2, 3. And the answer is 20,654.54. Kana alam. Okay. Another one. Juan de la Cruz just won the lottery. The 20 million peso jackpot will be paid in 20 annual installments of 1 million pesos each with the first payment to be paid immediately. So to be paid immediately at the start here, at the beginning of the period. Once opportunity cost of capital or interest rate is 6% per year, what is the present equivalent of one's lottery winnings at the time of the first payment? Uh, so, 20. Supposed to be 20 ka annual installment. So, inan niya. Mawinta niya ang madawat. 20 million jackpot. Instead, installment ang pagbayad. Instead of 20 million, 20, tag 1 million na, 1 million for 20 years. Hindi yeah, tama, ika 20. Okay. Uh, with the first payment to be paid immediately, man. Diri man ang first payment to be paid immediately. Uh, okay. So what's the present equivalent of one's lottery winning? So we get the present value ani tanan 20 ka 1 million so r is 6% pero ko ay compounded annually man more sad ni tong i 6% no pao na to nan p so i aton i project tanan ah, basic formula sa annuity jo kana substitute and the answer is 12,158,116.49. So, it's too small compared sa supposed na mga amount niya na 20 million pesos na jackpot. So, if ever, uh, kamo ang ipapili yan eh. Uh, if you will choose if you are asked to choose asang mas favorable sa imo, diritso ba 20 million or 
twenty kaya install mini payments na one million of course kini mong piliyon outright na twenty million okay oh the present value of twenty ka one million na installment is only twelve million na so alcance ka you are at a loss ani so piliyon ni mo ang twenty million na amang derecho The next one is one. The last, the last type of annuity is perpetuity. So a perpetuity is an annuity in which the payments continue indefinitely. So for this cash flow, nade mo a pero ang a ni mo is infinity. So how do you solve for p? So This is the formula for P. Okay? Sa annuity. Mura na lang sa ordinary kaya ang payment ani at the end of the period. Difference lang is ang kuwan siya. Indefinite siya ba? Ang number of period niya. N is equal to infinity. So pag substitute siya formula, if N is equal to infinity, an expression raised to negative infinity is approximately equal to zero. So, ang formula karon becomes A over I na lang. So, it's very simple, A over I. First problem. At an interest rate of 12%, what is the present value of an asset that produces 800 pesos a year in perpetuity? Direct substitution. Find the present value given ang annuity, given ang I. And the answer is this one, six thousand six hundred sixty-six point sixty-seven. And then this one, an investment costs four thousand five hundred pesos and pays three hundred pesos in perpetuity. What is the interest earned on this investment? Again, direct substitution. Given in P, given in A, is all for I. And I is this one, or in percent, that's 6.67 percent. Okay, another problem. The winner of a state lottery will receive 5,000 pesos per week for the rest of her life. So perpetuity for the rest of her life. If the winner's interest rate is 6% per year, compounded weekly, what is the present worth of this dapat? Nana kay A, daan na 5,000. Pangitaon na ang P. You are asked to solve for the present worth. Ahay na lang. Compounded weekly, man. So you have to divide this one by the number of weeks in a year. And the number of weeks in a year is 52. Okay. There are 52 weeks in a year. So, ang I na to is i-divide into 52. Mo na ni ang per week na interest rate per week. So, i-substitute. And the present worth is 4 million pesos. Okay. So, that's it. I hope that you learned something from this presentation. Thank you for watching.